What's up all you hustling moms and dads out there? My name is Will Crown and I am super fired up for episode number two of Dad Hustle. Let me start off by saying May the 4th be with you. Today is May the 4th, though you're actually seeing this on May the 6th. I am your father. This is a show where we believe that moms and dads are never past their prime. If they got a hustle inside of them, they gotta let that hustle live on the outside. Super psyched because today we're talking about quality versus quantity. What's really the most important thing for your family? The age old debate. Do I spend more time? Or do I worry about just making it quality time? The amount of time that the dad was spending with the kids, the amount of time that the mom was spending with the kids, that that was most important. But in today's day and age, that's not always so easy. I mean, we're all working super hard, right? To be there every dance recital. Water polo competition? It's not always easy to be home at 5.30 for dinner. You know what I'm saying? Porridge, please, sir. I'm not sure where that came from. Just so you know, I've got two kids. I mean, I've been married 18 years. I've got a 10 and 12 year old. I love my kids so much. They're everything to me. Once again, checking with Electronic Wizard. New study put out by the Washington Post says that making time for kids Study says quality trumps quantity. So when I am spending time with my family, I want it to be quality. Today we're discussing five useful tips that'll help us get the most quality out of the time that we have with the people we love the most. Tip number one, date night. Oh yeah. With your kids, sicko. And with your spouse. If I don't take my wife on a date every now and then, things aren't gonna be good at home. Just last night we went out and saw a movie, snuck some food in, used our movie pass. What? No, I'm not getting paid by them, but I probably should. Anybody got a number for movie pass around here? Sometimes we'll just go sit at a diner for like three hours and talk, write down our goals. I sound like a total sap right now, but it's true. But there's another kind of date night. Dude, get your mind out of the gutter. Daddy daughter dates, big boy time. That's stuff that you actually plan out with your kids. I don't have a ton of time to do that, but I make the time. I only got to do it like once a month. And really, it might take an hour. Now, big boy nights. Dad, hey dad, you wanna have big boy time? I know that means let's go take a piss in the backyard. And to me, I'm cool with that. Cross streams, just like the Ghostbusters. Sometimes we write our names in the dirt. You may not get it, but it means a lot to him. Okay, you think I'm crazy? That's all right. I'm just being real. I'm just being real with you. Like, <laughs> that's what we do. It doesn't take a lot of time. Just the fact that you took the time to do it, the world to them. Tip number two. Get them little ones outside. Get them in nature. That could be anything. Horseback riding. Yeah! Did, did I really do this or is this like a sexual? Camping. We do love going camping. We don't do enough. That's it. I'm going to commit. Committing right now, going camping. Hey, hey, son, let me slug the pig skin over to you. Okay, Buttski, here we go. One, two, three. Going for a hike. We have a little fire pit out back, so a lot of times we'll do fires. You know, the little, you get them in Lowe's, oh, 30 bucks. They feel like they're camping. Realistically, they're in the backyard. As a hustling dad, I don't have time to be like taking them camping once a month, so kind of cheating the system. Don't judge me. I'm trying to make some memories here. Whoever you are, it really doesn't matter. The point is get outdoors. Get those capillaries open up. Get your family breathing, feeling good. It's a positive thing and it promotes a healthy lifestyle. Number three, one of my personal favorites, pajama runs. You might be thinking, what the hell is a pajama run? <laughs> I'm about to change your life. A little bit about me. My dad split when I was about seven years old. Real talk. Not having a dad around actually molded my life in many ways. I'm all right, because I chose to grow from it. So my mom was a single mom with five kids. She was the epitome of a hustling mom. So she was always looking for ways on a shoestring budget that she can make our time together special. She would wake us up in the middle of the night, keep us in our pajamas, and bring us to a diner. Whatever's open, probably not the best thing diet-wise, but it did make some lasting memories. Oh, hell no, nah. I got limited sleep as it is. There's no way I'm waking up at two or three in the morning to take my kids out and waking them up Spending my, nah, hell nah. Disclaimer, my kid's bedtime is about nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, I go up. So they just barely got to sleep. And they feel like it's three in the freaking morning. You say, hey, we're gonna go out. Let's go on a pajama run. Just them and me, 
Here's the best part. We sneak out. And then, of course, the next day, they always spill the beans. Hey, Mom, guess what me and Dad did last night? It's awesome. Number four, turn the technology off. My kids are 10 and 12. I still show them a lot of affection. When I come sit on the couch, they're on their little tablets. I'm like, turn that off. But it goes both ways. Don't be a hypocrite. If you're gonna tell your kids to turn off technology so you can spend a little time with them, you gotta do the same. And that's not always easy. In fact, that can be very difficult, especially when we know we use these platforms to build our hustle. You've gotta live in the moment. When you're with your family, be with your family. When you're working and networking and social media be doing that. E numero cinco. Get your kids involved with your hustle. Get them on the gravy train. Let them know about what you're doing. Get them excited. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. I like to take my kids with me on set. I like to take my kids with me on appointments. I want them to see what dad's doing. I want them to know that I'm hustling. The more involved they feel, the more they understand. If you can't be at their friend's birthday party with them on a Saturday morning, like every Saturday morning. It also helps me a lot because in order for me to be super successful in any area, I've got to know my wife's behind me. i got to know my kids believe in me, that they got my back. I'm doing this for them. It's not about being around all the time. It's about making the time that you are around special. So if you liked what you heard today, check out more of our content. I'd love you to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to learn from you. Leave a comment on what you do in your house to help turn that limited time into quality time. As always, I'm here to help you get to the next level in your dad hustle. Keep hustling, dads. You can't stop me. Oh, that's all you can.